Hello, my friends. Good evening to everyone. Um, Good evening, teacher. Hello. Nice to see you and hear you again. Hi, Robert. Redis, now here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hi. teacher. Hello. Um, Thursday, yeah, just tomorrow, Robert, and then you're going to be like kind of relaxed, right? One more day. You can do it. Nice. We have Freddy's. What happened yesterday, Freddy's? You disappeared. We were looking at you. My family activi activity is... Family activity. Um, yeah. Okay. Is... Uh, como se dice? Uh, you were ordering yes you were like putting all the ornaments and well the tree the Christmas tree and all those things no yes okay como wow but come on we are in November <laughs> well anticipating obligado Antici obligado okay okay Freddy okay so welcome back and what about uh, Brandon? I don't know if you're moving, Brandon. No, teacher. Okay, finally at home. Nice. Good, good. So here we have also Miguel. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, everything in order? Yes, all good. Okay. But yesterday I can't connect it because I have a a lot of problem about awareness. I can't oh, okay. connect in an English no class. So okay. yesterday you couldn't, mm -hmm. you couldn't connect. Okay, thank you, Miguel, for saying. Uh, here we have also Vicky. Yesterday you were kind of driving, right, from Sonsonate to another yes. apartment. From La Unión. Wow, La Unión is 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 far. It yes. is like like I guess three hours or four hours. To, for to me, San four Salvador. hours. Yeah, well, depends. Okay, so, well, nice to see you again, Vicky. Thank you. Here we have Maho. Hi, Maho. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, everything okay tonight? Yes, it's almost Friday, so yeah, it's better than yesterday. Yeah, definitely it is. Uh, actually, yeah. uh, that is the motivation. Tomorrow is Friday. Okay, so definitely. That's it. And here we have also, let me see, Morelia. Are you there? Hello. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Yes, well, it's okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So welcome to other, uh, Albert. I don't know if you are working. Uh, yesterday you were working. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Thank you. What about Roxana? Are you okay, Roxana? Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Nice. I'd like to hear that. Thank you. Well, here we have Ernest. Hi, Ernest. Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. Okay, everything okay? No problem. Yeah. Thank you. From you? Yeah. Good because I feel good because tomorrow is Friday. And I'm waiting for the Friday. Definitely I'm waiting. I need some rest. I need to sleep. And you too, right? You need to sleep as well. Okay. Um, we have class 16. It means It means that we have just nine classes left. Just nine classes and we say goodbye forever and ever. You will never see me again, maybe. But um, here we have, like, we are advancing little by little. Uh, remember that we are supposed to finish on November 30th. Okay, I hope so. I hope so. So um, to start uh, this, here we have um, an easy question. How often do you send or receive emails? How often do you send or receive emails? 
you can you have different uh, answers every day every week every month every year sorry give me a second Okay, every day, every week, every month. <clears throat> or we can say once. Once a day, una vez al día. Twice a day, dos veces al día. Three times a day. Some people say thrice, but I prefer the three times. It's more formal. Or you can say four times a day. The same can be applied to once a week, twice a week, and so on. So you tell me, how often do you receive emails, okay? We start with Maho and then uh, Robert. Okay, Maho, what about you? Well, I receive a lot of emails because I have two emails, my university email, my personal email, and my corporate email. So um, six times a day. Come almost. on, six times. <laughs> yes, I have wow. two emails. It is like, imagine you have to be checking and checking uh, new emails, yes. uh, especially if they are asking for some report or some kind of information, right? It is yes. like very delicate. Thank you, Maho. Okay, um, let's listen to Robert. In your case, Robert, what did you say? I receive emails every day. For example, okay. some notifications and in my work, send me some email. Okay, yeah, to... that's it. Yeah, I remember uh, that yeah, and that when we were well, when I was at university, emails yes were kind of common, but nowadays it is very is for formality in jobs, right? It is so necessary. And you have to confirm it is something very important with about this. So thank you, Robert. And we go now with Morelia and then Vicky. Tell us, Morelia. Okay, Morelia, maybe it's not there. Sorry. Let's go. Okay. Sorry. I'm here. Um I receive emails every day, but our notification of uh, Uber Eats, pedidos ya. Yeah, okay. Not, not important. No, you don't uh, work uh, by using email. It is not like uh, one of your tools. No, no every day because the, 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 the emails that I receive in my work it's about uh, serology exams mm -hmm. from University of Kansas. And okay. I received that emails when we send a muestra. Uh, uh, like uh, you can yeah. say a sample. sample. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a muestra de sangre. Okay, blue sample. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Blue sample. Oh, so, so we send it. We okay. receive emails. Yes. So it's three, four, or six times a year. Oh, yeah. It is like not frequently. Okay, thank you. Uh, remember, receive. Okay, they receive emails. Receive. Six times a year it is like yeah good not uh it's an odd an emergency thank you and uh, we we'll go yeah. with vicky and roxana um my case i receive e emails every day and i send emails in three or times or four times in the days mm -hmm. Okay. In the work. Um, Definitely, it's by work. Okay, thank you. Uh, we go with Roxana and then Ernest. Okay, in my teacher, I receive emails every day. I 
six, seven, eight emails in the date. And also I send emails too. Okay, that's it. You receive and send. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's and like send. some yes. sometimes you reply. Uh, you receive an yes. email, but some other time maybe you send some information or reports or anything, any information. It is like the information uh, required. Okay, thank you. Um, Ernest, yes. what about you? Hi, teacher. In my case, um, the, the entire communication in my work is on emails. Um, so I send and receive every day's emails, uh, a, a lot of emails every day. A lot of emails. Oh, so it's like your main tool. It's so important yes. in your case, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Ernest. Uh, what about Miguel and Brandon? Okay. Uh, it depends if it is at work. In re I receive several emails, but if it's personal, let's say uh, once, two, or three times a week. Mm -hmm. And okay. uh, and the other hand, I receive promotion of of various kinds, banks, mm -hmm. or advertisement cars. there ads. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It depends. Okay, it depends. Some of them are important. Some others are not. Like yeah. Thank you, uh, Miguel. We go with Brandon and Nancy. Okay, Brandon. What about you? Uh... I receive three times a week, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't send Gmail. Okay, mm -hmm. just you receive information uh -huh, and you work with that. Yeah. Nice. But yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't receive. I you don't, don't send, send, you don't send. Email. Okay. Nice. That's another uh, part of your functions. Okay. Interesting. And Nancy? Because in my work, I don't. You don't, you don't have to give, uh, I'm sorry, Brandon, you don't have to give, like, uh, you don't have to monitor some things, maybe, you work with the information that you receive, that's what you mean, right? Some others yeah. give, send reports, for example, you don't, right? I don't, no, I don't receive uh, email for, for, for my work. No, oh, that, that's personal, okay. Thank you, Brandon. Your work is uh, like a different nature. Nice. Uh, Nancy and Albert. Okay, um, Nancy. Good evening. I Hello. receive emails every day. Mm -hmm. And promotional banks, mm -hmm. social network, networks. Ah, oh, that's another. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Albert, uh, what about you? And then Freddy's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is mainly, right? Promotions and notification. Thank you. Freddy's and Maritza. Okay, Freddy's. Okay, in my case, I receive every day for the work is a solution problem the production and email that information the uh, new process uh, new new reset a new chemical product and that's it Thank you. Yeah, it is. Uh, maybe there are some products that, that in which you receive information. Thank you, Maritza. What about you? Uh, good evening. Uh, I usually I receive and send uh, many emails about mm -hmm. new of the day, and I also send reports to my bosses. Okay, mm -hmm. that's okay. nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, last like, like uh, very common, right? Like na normally, that that's it. Thank you. I'm going to check the attendance list. Please, here we have 
like different types of verbs in which can be classified in informal or formal. So uh, it doesn't mean that you you should you can be rude or you can fail if you use these uh, verbs. No, it's just that uh, it is like more common that you use informal verbs, especially when you have more confidence with your friends, with your colleagues. You say tell and inform, give, provide, check, verify, ask, inquire, need, require, help, assistance, get, receive, leave, uh, reside, uh, but however, problem, issue. For example, you want to talk to your superiors or your boss, your manager, you, you say, um, I require some information. It's important because we have an issue. Okay. So you are talking about formal vocabulary, but if you say, for example, um, I need some information because we have a problem. So it is not that you are saying bad words. It is just, it is kind of informal. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, Hold you one by one, and I need you to select one informal and one formal. For example, if you select check, you have to say verify. If you say uh, but, you say however. If you say tell, you say inform. Okay. Let's go with Alex Enoch um, Ramirez. I guess no. Okay. Ana Raquel, hi. Okay, Vicky. Okay, thank you, Raquel. Mm, Vicky, hello. Yes. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi, eh, provide. Okay. <laughs> eh, sería en ese caso oh. give, provide. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, with, uh, what about Brandon? Hi, Brandon. Present teacher, but however, okay, but however, okay, thank you. We have to say the informal column and the formal column, and the needs is like not available, but we have Freddy's, okay, Freddy's. An informal help, formal mm -hmm. assistance. Thank you, um, Albert. Hello. Okay. Mm, Ernest? Hello, teacher. Informa, give. Formal, uh -huh. provide. Thank you. Okay, Luis, not here. Majo, your turn. Um, good evening. Uh, informal, need, formal, mm -hmm. require. Thank you. Maritza? I'm here. Uh, problem and issue. Issue. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Issue. Thank you. Um, Miguel. Uh, check. Verify. Good. Morelia. I'm sorry. Formal. <laughs> well. No, it's okay, Miguel. Yeah, it's okay like this. Okay, okay. Morelia, are you Good there? Evening. Yes, Hello. help and assistance. assistance. Good one. Uh, Nancy? Um, ask. Um, sorry. Uh, issue? No. Sorry. no. Ask back on inquire. And inquire. what about? Mm -hmm, thank you. Robert? Need and formal require. Thank you. Roxana? 
check, verify. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's move. In here I have this. Let me check something. No, we go with this. Okay, first speaking activity. Um, mention the best and the worst things in El Salvador. If you notice, we are using superlative adjectives. The best, lo mejor, the worst, lo peor. Okay, I will need you to text in the chat what is the best uh, that we have in El Salvador and the worst. Please, go ahead. I'm going to be waiting for your answers and we start. Is Definitely, we have like very good answers with a nice justification, okay? In this case, we started with Freddy's. You're going to be the first one this time, okay? Okay. This, mm -hmm. in my opinion, the best thing about in El Salvador, it is the people mm -hmm. because they are cheerful despite the problems and the worst thing is the lack of opportunity for a person to achieve in the ideal to live with dignity to live with dignity okay very nice so to opposite right people are okay and they are cheerful and the worst is the lack of opportunities thank you Roxana and Morelia, please. Okay. The best thing in the, is the security. It has improved a lot. Mm -hmm. The worst thing is that everything is too expensive because the people is taking advantage of that. Okay. Thank you. So the security that we have now, right? It is like now. very different. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, everything is expensive. Yeah, it is. Definitely, thank you. But to say <clears throat> one reason, people is taking advantage of that. Could it be in some play, in some cases? In some other can they have like another factors? But for example, houses. 
houses in El Salvador nowadays in this time they are very expensive. Yes. But very expensive, right? Uh, if you notice marketplace or some other advertisement and you are asking for how much are the houses now they are the prices are to the to the sky yes. so they're yes. very complicated very complicated nowadays so thank you yes. uh, good points morelia and vicky okay more Okay, the best thing uh, of El Salvador is that now it's free of delinquents and all people can live better than some years ago. The worst thing, um, I think that is the attitudes of Salvadorian people because we, are, we cannot take care of infrastructure in the streets. Also, we don't, we not appreciate it appreciate our beautiful places um i think yeah, i agree i agree the, the delinquents is a uh, the violence and all those aspects now are low but if you notice on vacations as you say people don't take care of the infrastructure or the places indeed and one example are the beaches you go to the lake or the or to the beach and there are a lot of tourists, Salvadorian tourists, and good. I like it. Families go and, and they spend good time. But when they go back home, there are a lot of plastic bags. There are a lot of trash, cans, a lot of things that are on the beach. And uh, that's why if there, there is an activity in, in the center of San Salvador, for example, there is we have like different differently because there are a, a lot of people like uh sweeping mucha gente barriendo en otros aspects so yeah unfortunately yes, that's we don't have that culture to to protect to protect um the places natural places and touristic places right Thank you, Marelia. I have yes. seen that. Yeah, I have seen that. Uh, Vicky and Miguel. Vicky, please. Your turn. Okay. For me, the worst thing is that there is no improvement in education, in health, in, in the environment. It's forgetting. In the last five years, construction has, has increased generating deforestation, mm -hmm. which has a uh, consequent flux that affect different places in the country. Mm -hmm. In the other uh, worst thing for me is uh, we are not wonder wonderland as they, the government say. The government says. Creo yo. Says in third person. The, oh, the third the person. Says. Okay, uh -huh. thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, and for the best thing um, is here in El Salvador is um, a small country mm -hmm. uh, and we can go to many places in a short time. Mm -hmm. um, we can do internal tourism and beautiful place um, and, mm -hmm, and beautiful place. In different yeah. beautiful place. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, with the worst thing that you say, um, practically uh, as the construction is increasing, you 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 said that the deforestation is increasing too. And one example is that the environment, the weather is different because there are, there are a few trees, for example, in Planes de Renderos, 15 years ago, there was very foggy, era nublado, foggy yes. in, at, in the afternoon, at noon, at 11 a.m. Yeah, I remember. Now, in Planes de Renderos, it's getting hot. Now it's different because there are a lot of houses, a lot of residentials and different aspects. That's one of the reasons, of course. And yeah, even the, I, mm -hmm, please. 
no other place that affect with um I don't know the forest. The weather is the weather. Uh, the weather. No, not the weather. Well, yes, the, the weather, weather has changed. Is, is, or, mm -hmm, in Cordillera el Balsamo. Okay. Because there are a lot of constru constructions mm -hmm. right now. Okay. Okay, thank you. One aspect to mention, and you all remember on Facebook, there were some photographs very famous of deers, venados, in Santa Elena, Santa Tecla, I guess, when we were in the quarantine, COVID, when we were uh, in our houses. Do you remember that some of I remember the animals, that. Some of the animals yes. started exploring. Yeah, because there were no humans. Uh, on the street exactly. and yeah and that that is that that, that is what that, that is a a sample of what is going on it's un ejemplo de lo que sucede so that's it imagine um well we can continue talking about this but yes it is something really bad that deforestation and there are some animals that they have to move because their natural home uh, is is not there now so well in comparison, well, I'm sorry, on the contrast, we have the best thing. Yeah, El Salvador is a small country. It has a negative aspect, but the positive aspects of being a small country is that you can go to the volcano, Boqueron Volcano, and you can go in the morning, volcano, yeah, at noon, you can go to Puerto de la Libertad, and uh, at night, you can go to, um, for example, Planet, de Rendero. Planet de Renderos, Ruta Panorámica. You, you can go to different mm -hmm. places in one day. That is something, something really good. That's why we have a lot of tourists here. Thank you. Uh, very nice. Miguel. And then Nancy. Okay. The best thing in El Salvador for me is that several streets were repaired and several parts were repaired and a mega hospital was built. And another of the worst thing that I remember is that in the past there was a lot of crime and disorder in the street, but now there is a change. Okay. That's Thank it. you, Miguel. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the past, that, that was a lot of crime. Yes, I was a victim of, of robbers, of thieves, and I was like watching a lot of violence on the street, uh, the same as you, you saw that. But now it's kind of different. And yeah, uh, as you say, there are a lot of streets that, uh, that are being, the, well, they're repaired, but maybe in some places, because in some other places, there are some streets that that are they are still bad, but for example, in the center of San Sabal, there is a big change, a big change in uh, if you compare what twenty years ago, it, it is very different now, but very very different. So yeah, that's it. You can enjoy of now that there are some places that now are they are clean. Thank you, Nancy. Please. Okay, the vets. Think about El Salvador is the astronomy because is the is has the best typical dish in the world, pupusas, among other delicious foods. And the worst thing is that in the cities there is a lot of environment environmental position to to the smoke from the buses mm -hmm. yeah yeah and uh, we have pollution a lot of smoke and you can see a lot of buses or car old cars throwing smoke yeah and one of the best things is the gastronomy i agree pupusas i guess it is one of the most delicious uh plates i don't know in a person who doesn't like pupusas? I don't know if you know, but I, until now, uh, all the people that I know, they love pupusas. Even 
they are from El Salvador or from another country. They 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 like it. Okay, Nancy, I will appreciate if you please uh, send your answer as the other partners in text because I can see the vocabulary that you're using and and that is better. You can prepare your answers during the day. That's why I send the speaking activities in the in the in the morning. Okay, thank you. Okay. Perfect. Maho and Brando. Okay, my answers are similar to Anna Victoria's answer. Okay. And I think the best thing about the country is, are that everything is close and we can travel in a single day to many very beautiful places. And the nature of the country is very beautiful. And we also have good beers like right here. And churches yeah. are very beautiful buildings too. And the worst thing about the city is the traffic that people do, don't respect nature and, and throw garbage anywhere. The streets flood in the storms and there is an employment and informal work without benefits. And it is normalized and religion dominates the fact of fulfilling the rights of the minorities. Okay, Let's see. you mentioned uh, a lot of aspects. I'm going to take some of them because I, I consider it is true, as you're saying, it is true. And besides, uh, yeah, it's a good one, definitely. People say yes. that, people say that. Okay, well, um, definitely we have a small country and that's it has uh, advantages, definitely. We have churches are very beautiful buildings. Uh, we have architecture, wonderful architecture in different parts of El Salvador. Since we have churches, buildings like Santana Cathedral and some other, we have theaters, but we have also pyramids from our pre-Hispanic times ancestors and there are some archaeological places yeah. that they are beautiful they have not been explored for example in San Andres there are some pyramids that they are covered and they have not been like yeah that discovered completely and we have this uh, we have beautiful beaches lakes perfect but unfortunately uh, people don't take care they throw garbage I have seen adults throwing garbage and kids they see so they imitate so it is a change mm -hmm. right that starts in family I a lot of things so uh, unfortunately it is and there is a uh, unemployment we have problems with getting uh, a mm -hmm. job it is a big problem that's why a lot of people that they have the university degree I'm not saying that that's bad, but they spend money studying and they, they prefer to have a business. And even yes. people who have business or informal businesses, they need education related to administration, to have uh, like um, seguro and some other things, right? Because they, they are like, they, they don't have some facilities. And it is like this. And religion dominates the fact uh, for building the rights of minorities. We also, we now we have, uh, because of believing in something, maybe we don't analyze some things. And people just yeah. continue having the same behavior, taking the same decisions, and we don't, we don't improve. So thank you, Ma. Very good analysis. Thank you, especially for the Regia. Nice. Brandon, and then we go with Ernest. Okay, uh, for me, the best thing about Salvador is just heavily eat beaches uh, at the sea. Uh, and without his, his station, the people who never he said to help you. Yeah. <clears throat> we have negative and bad people in Salvador, but we have also good people. There are a, lo a lot of nice people. And I like to, to think that the the good people are more, right? The majority. I hope yeah. that can be reality because here in Salvador, there are a lot of good people and Salvadorians are workers. 
are workers, right? In comparison to some other countries in which they are not, they are some kind of lazy. I have seen that. Yeah. I have visited some other countries. For example, one example in Honduras, there are not typical food. Well, I have I have visited some parks in Honduras, and there are not uh, like businesses like uh, selling typical food. No, here in El Salvador, in every place, they they sell pupusas, uh, pastelito, a lot a, a lot of things. Right yeah. here in El Salvador, it is like this. So thank you. Um, we go with Ernest and Raquel. Hi. The worst thing, in my opinion, is the culture of the drivers, in special the drivers of the human transport. I think they drive uh, so dangerous, and he causes so many crashes um, yeah. every day. And, my, and the best thing is that all is near to all, like beach, mountain, volcanoes, lake, etc. Yes, definitely. Rivers. There are a lot of things, places to visit, to eat. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. Near volcanoes. Yes, mountains. Well, related to the, uh, the bad attitudes when driving, especially with the urban transport, it is really negative because we in in USA, for example, there are a lot of fines that you can get easily. Muchas multas, fácilmente, easily. You get a fine. In El Salvador, maybe we need like harder fines, like some other kind of punishments, because now that the, the social media and you have a cell phone. Now we can see the reality of drivers, their, the attitude, the real attitude that people have, right? A lot of accidents. Imagine, so a lot of things to change. Thank you. That's really negative. Yeah, I agree. Raquel and Maritza. Um, the best thing about El Salvador is the second. The worst thing about El Salvador has been crying in previous years. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is like a big difference. A couple of years uh, before and now. Thank you. Maritza, and we finish with Roberto. Hi, good evening. Hi. I think the best thing about El Salvador are the beaches. Also, another another of the best thing is that all the places are near. In a single day, uh, we can go to the beach and then, uh, for example, we can go to the mountains. But the but the worst the worst thing is that everything in, is expensive. Life here is expensive, even if stay handy. Is expensive. Yeah, it is like like very expensive. A lot of things, and that is something that it is increasing. It is not going to improve. And things no. are not going to get cheaper. No va se va a poner más barato. Mm -mm. Uh, it, I guess it is going to 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 have uh, like hard times. But yeah, definitely one of the reasons. Uh, yeah. We have problems even with food. The food is expensive. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Maritza. Okay. Thank and you. okay, nice. And well, related to the beaches, um, I consider El Salvador has maybe they are on El Salvador is on the top of best beaches because in some other countries, for example, Peru or United States, the water is very cold, even. It is uh, two uh, in the afternoon, two o'clock. The water is kind of cold, but here in Sable, the water is very fresh and also the weather. So yeah, points for Sable. And we finish with Roberto. Hey teacher, about this question, uh, I remember reading a book that talked about the bad things about the country. For example, uh, the author criticized the politicians, the selfishness of Salvadorans, some food are unhealthy, 
and the bear is horrible compared to others that was in a book called the Asco. Asco. Uh, El Asco. Uh, yes, whoever, I read that book. Yeah, I remember at the university. However, I think that not all that is true. El Salvador is a country, is a country that has a very interesting culture. And of course, the pupusas are the best, and so the Pilsener beer too. Okay, we have Team Regia and Team Pilsener. Okay, we're going to discuss that. Regia. The... <laughs> <laughs> okay. El Asco is a very famous uh, book. I consider that, yeah, some negative attitudes from people, they are, it is real. But related to some other things, mm, I don't agree too much, but yeah, the, this author mentions a lot of things that it is very proper of Sabor and we have to accept, yes, yeah, some negative. Yes, for example, that... about the pupusas, mm -hmm. this author say that is a very horrible food but i i don't i don't agree about yeah this. it is like that it, it is like very very different points of view but yeah but he criticizes the 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 noise of the the neighbors he criticizes uh the garbage what else uh different aspects so yeah thank you robert I didn't remember that book. I read it a lot of years ago. Thank you. Okay, my friends, we continue. Um, here we have this activity. It is mm -hmm. on the manual. It says, use a dictionary to find the meaning of words below. I'm going to ask you to please help me, okay? I'm going to select to Maho for number one. I'm going to give you some time, Maho. Maybe you can look i can do it but here it says use a dictionary to find the meaning of the words below okay maho can you help me with number one ernest with number two maybe we can have robert with number three designated and we can have miguel number four and we can have maybe Vicky with number five, probably. I'm going to give you some time, okay? So you help me, you have to dictate me. Okay, the dictation, I'm going to write the words that you find in this. Okay. I don't know if he, some of you have the uh, definitions or the meaning. I have the definition. Okay, tell me. Okay, I found this meaning. A uh, dispenser is a person or thing or thing. Mm -hmm. Continue. Okay, that dispenses or provides something. That dispenses or provides something. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you, Maho. Okay, nice. What else? Here we have dirt. Okay, very nice. Thank you, um, Ernest. A substance 
such as mud or dust, that soils someone or something. His face was covered in dirt. Okay. It is like this. Thank you. What about the, the, the rest? You can send to the chat or you can uh, read. Maybe we can have else. Vicky, I don't know if you have it or Robert. I don't know who else. Vicky Mandy. A Miguel. Okay. I don't, okay. I don't know is the correct the answer I have. Okay, Le, le, let's see. For me, mm, is she's uh, apparently wishes to sing the company. <laughs> I don't know it's correct. Uh, apparently? Uh, apparently wishes to sing the company. Wishes to sing the company. Okay, maybe I'm going to give you another opportunity to, to, to check it because sing has two meanings, two main meanings, okay? One is to sink, for example, the Titanic. And, Me teacher. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. And the other is uh, apart, apart in a house. Okay, Vicky. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's uh, appoint someone to a specific position. Uh, for example, he was designated a uh, premier minister. Okay. Uh, you say this. Could you repeat, please? Okay. Uh, this, the appoint someone to a specific position. Appoint like this. Yeah. I send. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's... I send. I send the message in the oh. chat. I'm sorry. I'm going to check it in this moment. Okay, so in this case, Brandon says the specific position. Imagine you have a, a coordination in the, your company, you can be designated mm -hmm. for any other position. Thank you. And we have designated just someone, something to accomplish task. Thank you, Robert, with uh, designated to. Mm -hmm. It is like this. Thank you. We have Okay, it's an adverb that means to do this completely and carefully without forgetting. Thank you. Just Miguel with sync. Okay, maybe we're going to give you more time. Okay, this parents are a personal thing that dispenses or provides something. There are substance such as mud or dust, the soil someone or something, designated, appoint someone to a specific position or choose someone or something to accomplish a task. Thoroughly, it's an advert that means to do something completely and carefully without forgetting. Okay. Maybe we're going to wait a little bit to Miguel to send this. Uh, here we have 
Okay, Brandon, send this. As I was saying, sink is in present. In the past, you say tank. So, for example, the Titanic sank to the bottom of the sea. Yes, that's it. Okay, so this Her. is... The, hello? Yes, sorry. Can you repeat the, the pronunciation of the last one, please? Trolley. Trolley? Trolley. Like being, 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 being okay. extraño. Yes, yeah. uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Trolley, trolley. Tro, uh, it can be com it can be confused like true or throughout true, but that's that's another different. Mm -hmm. Throwly. Even uh, it is kind of strange word. Yes, uh, Brandon said the Titanic was passenger ship with which sank. Thank you. Okay, let's move. Uh, always related to the vocabulary. You, you have a lot of vocabulary. We're going to do something. Look at this. We have um, speaking time. So here, this is a word game about, um, about vocabulary. I'm going to give you like seven, eight minutes. I need you to complete this. And you're going to send it, please. You have to send it. And you have to find a word related to these letters for example that depends on you you can say here name you can say study you can say never city different things okay uh, so i recommend you to they so can screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group, please. I'm going to create the, the teams. So try to do it uh, working in, in pairs. Work in pairs. And I'm going to assign you, please. Okay, see you in a couple of minutes, my friends. Complete this. Let's see what vocabulary, what bank of vocabulary you have. Please accept the request. Ernest, do you have the request?
Okay, let's see what do we have about the answers of this game work. Uh, Miguel, Nancy, and Maho, you finished very quickly, okay? I don't know if yeah. you're going to send to the WhatsApp group, no. I don't know what do we have. No, maybe here in Zoom. Could you share Hello? it here in Zoom? Let's see um, if we have some common, some common words. I guess we can find different and common words. Okay, one member of the team, please send uh, that file or that image. I don't know what you. I guess you have it in an image, right? Please send it to to the chat. I just send the the answer to the uh, no, message. No, okay. Oh, okay, no problem, no problem. It's okay. Yes, beautiful chi dear nice okay x-ray <laughs> nice maho okay okay still zoo yellow <laughs> if you notice well, it's yes miguel uh now inicio ya okay. no no, 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 just send it to the to the chat. Solo hay que enviarlo ah. al chat. Ah, so we okay. can see actress night B the B of beers. Come on. Okay, because you were talking about that. Okay, who else? Vamos a ver qué más. Okay, I'm checking uh, Ernest or Zoom. Okay. <laughs> Yellow, Xerox, wipe. Bye. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, let's see, Vicky. What do you have, Vicky? No, really. Okay. Um, okay. Assistance, uh, coconut, zombie, oh, okay, xylophone. Mm -hmm. Yes, good one. Okay, let's check uh, Roxana's image. We have ant, bicycle, garden, sink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Not good one. Thank you. Okay. okay. Uh, Maritza. Bit uh, interesting. Zone. Down, X ray. Okay, here we have one that is similar. Maritza X ray with Maho X ray. That's the only one, but for the rest, you have used different words. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. I don't know if we have one more. One more team. Okay, we're going to have a listening exercise. Please pay attention because it is a conversation, but they are going to mention some numbers, names, and specific info that we can use. Okay. So be ready. I'm going to play it maybe three times. Well, I guess with two times we can have like a good idea. What is this audio about? Okay. Okay, Freddy's. Actress, actress is repeated, yeah. 
Sterile swipes. Good. Qualification part. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Fredis. Okay, let's listen. And you tell me what you understood about this. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. I'm not here at the moment, so please leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, John. This is Maria Silva, calling from Old Time Toys. Your colleague Alex gave me your phone number. She said you can help me. I need some information on your new product. Could you please call me when you are back in the office? My phone number is 0208-655-7626. Also, can you please email me your new brochure and information about your prices? My email address is Marina. That's M A R I N A. Dot Silva. S I L V A. At O L D T I M E hyphen toys dot com. Thanks a lot. I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, let's listen one more time. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. I'm not here at the moment, so please leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, John. This is Maria Silva, calling from Old Time Toys. Your colleague Alex gave me your phone number. She said you can help me. I need some information on your new product. Could you please call me when you are back in the office? My phone number is 0208-655-7626. Also, can you please email me your new brochure and information about your prices? My email address is marina, that's M-A-R-I-N-A -A dot Silva, S-I-L-V-A at O-L-D-T-I-M-E hyphen toys dot com. Thanks a lot. I look forward to hearing from you. Nice. Okay, ideas, words, phrases you want to share? He wants information about a new product and leave the number and email to, to information for prices and uh, and products. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's about that. Thank you. Very nice. Um, any that's like the main ideas. Very good. Any specific information? The names or numbers or something like that. Um, uh, the new brochure informations. Mm -hmm. Rice. And the name is um, Maria. Okay. Maybe. Marina. Marina. Okay, Marina. Yeah. Yeah, talking and... about brochures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's part of the information. Yeah. Thank you, Vicky. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Maybe, I don't know. Um, Freddy's. Roxana. One more time, teacher. Uh, the message. <laughs> okay, it's a message. Yes. Okay, I'm going to play yeah, one and, more. And she said that uh, he can call her when he arrives to to the office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Practically, it is an answer machine. Right, it's a it's a voice note. Maybe it's like yes. a message, and the 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 man says that he's not there to answer the calling, yeah. but mm -hmm. he can answer later. He can call later. So leave a message so that the other person. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. As Freddie says, let's listen one more time. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. I'm not here at the moment, so please leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, John. This is Maria Silva, 
calling from old time toys. Your colleague Alex gave me your phone number. She said you can help me. I need some information on your new product. Could you please call me when you are back in the office? My phone number is 0208-655-7621. Also, can you please email me your new brochure and information about your prices? My email address is Marina. That's M A R I N A dot Silva. S I L V A at O L D T I M E hyphen toys dot com. Thanks a lot. I look forward to hearing from you. Okay. Yes, Freddy's now you have more information. Um is the conversation the two person and uh to send the mail mm -hmm. yeah the mail and that's it it's just... thank you thank you for this maho what about you mm, at the beginning of the conversation uh, she says she says that he her name is Maria Silva, but when he spelled her email, uh, he spelled the name Marina, Marina that Silva. Only that. Okay. That's it. okay. Me teacher. Okay, yes, please. Me teacher. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, my friend. Okay. Good. Okay. Um he says his name is John, but mm -hmm. I'm not here at the moment. Yeah. So she said hello. I need information about any product. And this is my email. Um she tell him and uh, he her name is Marina. Uh, she also talked about a product in her brochure. And then she said goodbye, saying thank you for everything. Good luck to you. Yeah, nice, nice, wonderful. I like it. Thank you. I'm going to present now the information. I want to listen that Anjo says that. Hi, says, this is John. Yeah. Thanks for calling. I'm not here at the moment, so please leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, John. This is Maria Silva. Calling from uh, all time top. Yeah, Maho, very nice. This person says Maria. Hi, John. <laughs> this is Marina Silva, but that's a mistake. Let, let's listen just this part. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. I'm not here at the moment, so please leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, John. This is Maria Silva. Uh -huh. This is Maria Silva, and it's Marina. <laughs> nice, Maho. Good one. Okay. Um, let's continue because we have some other information. Remember that he, well, she says a phone number. Zero two zero eight six five five uh, seven six two one, and then the email address, but he spells M A R I N A dot Silva. Okay, so let's continue with this. Um, we're going to what's the name? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's listen what's the name of the song. But here we have uh, Maritza. I guess you are in charge, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see if you can. Are you ready? Or do you need some time? Uh, I get ready. Good. Try okay. to share the screen. Okay. Yes, I just del telephone. Mm 
One moment. No problem. Ay. No. Okay. <laughs> Me equivoqué. Okay, it's okay. This is a trial. Remember that we have to um, learn how to share a screen. This is really helpful. Okay. Can you watch my my screen? Yes. Or my... Yes. Y okay. de hecho ya aparezco abajo con una cara de sorprendido. <risa> que la acabo de tomar. No, es que no sabía cómo ponerle. <risa> ok, man. Sorry, okay. sorry. Ok. I can, I can read, I can read this uh, without singing. Come on. So, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. And I didn't want to write a song because I didn't want anyone thinking I still carry down, but you still hit my phone up. And baby, I'll be moving on. And I think you should be something I don't wanna hold back. Maybe you should know that my mama don't like you and she likes everyone. And I never liked to admit that I was wrong. And I'd be so cool and in my job, didn't say what's going on, but now I know. I'm better sleeping on my own. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Oh, nice. Congratulations. Very nice voice. Good. Uh, actually, I don't know, but it sounds like modern, like recent songs. I don't know. But what about the rest? Any idea? Uh, the rest? I don't know. No, no. The rest of participants. Miguel, any idea? <laughs> Some BTS song. Don't have uh, any idea. Okay. Is it that Maritza BTS song or something like that? It's the artist is Justin Bieber. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, but it sounds Come like that, girl. right? Like pop. It sounds like uh -huh, pop music. So, yes. okay. And, okay, do you have, uh, have you identified any words from the grammar? Eh, yes, pero ahí, ahí okay, quiero really. ver. No vayas a presentar otra cosa, man. Captura no, no, no. Okay, be careful. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Evidencias que vas a presentar después. <laughs> You're going to present later. No. Okay. Ay, okay. En, Mira, en y song, siempre es algo, Mari. Ay. Sí, que fue improvisado. Que tenés contra mi <laughs> okay. okay. In, in the zone, I learned and some verb. For example, write, want, mm -hmm. think, hit, be, like, admit, note, and code or code. Mm -hmm. what, what, what is the Ah, code. Code. Yes. It's a pass of and cut. And mm -hmm. I learned cut. Okay. Also, I learned adjective, irregular adjective. Mm -hmm. It's irregular. In this song, better and modal verb. Should. Should. It's correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, is that the words, right, that you have identified? Yes. Okay. Please uh project the previous uh image even okay. I appear like if I were a, a sticker in there, but <laughs> go ahead. Okay. It's a sticker. Believe me, it's a sticker. Okay. Um <laughs> take this amount. 
Okay, um, I, I want to point on something. Um, it is kind of in, informal. <laughs> it is kind of informal language uh, because in the first one, I didn't want to write the sound. So I didn't want to. It's the formal form, but it says it, I didn't want to. Because instead of saying because, the second sentence. And there is a one specific one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine line. My mama. He, he doesn't say my mother or my mom or my mommy. They, he says my uh, mama. It's don't like. It's informal. It's mm -hmm. informal because the correct form is my mama, for example, doesn't doesn't like because doesn't. it's per person yes but uh -huh. this is this is for a reason it is not that justin bieber is making a mistake no it is like uh that's the that's the way the song is written i uh, for example jennifer lopez has some other song that she says he don't and i mm -hmm. know um hello Yes, okay. yes, teacher. And, and and I know a song from Persia. Uh, the 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 name of the song is Even Flow. In the in the main part, it says he don't know, but the correct form is he doesn't know. But they are Americans, so they know English. But there is a reason because they are reflecting informal English. Okay, thank you, Maritza. Thank you for the sticker and thank, thank you, you for your song. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't do it again. Okay, nice. Um, Maritza, a very nice song. I don't know that song. Maybe I can listen. One. Hi, sorry. The song is Love Yourself by Justin Bieber. Love Yourself. Okay. I don't listen to much Justin Bieber, but I can imagine that it is a famous song. Something like, yeah. It is very catchy. Catchy is cuando algo te trapa. Maritza, Thank you, Maritza. Same, send me your new sticker. Yeah, come on. No, come on. I'm going to put it in the profile group photograph from WhatsApp. Okay, Maritza. Thank you. Nancy, are you there? Hello, yes, Nancy. Teacher. Okay. Hello. Can you can you present your song tomorrow? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. okay, you are the one selected, please, Nancy. Now you know how to do it. Ya sabes cómo hacerlo, ¿verdad? Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's continue. And here we have this. Yesterday, we were studying different forms to express this, say versus tell. This is a, a, an, another picture. Look at this. Say versus tell. You say something to someone. Okay. Helen said, I love you to her dad. Frag says, como le digo, says, he has a new job as I said that I was sorry. You tell me someone something and so on. Remember, say is when you're saying something brief in general, but uh, tell is when you are uh, mentioning something to a specific person okay or to a specific group of people we're going to work on this there we here have some other uh, different uh, worksheet different sentences please um you tell me i'm going to give you like a couple of seconds so you can have an idea how to answer Les doy un minuto. One minute. Take a look at this. Try to have three options. Permita un momento. Just give me a second.
Okay, I'm so sorry, my friends. I have some difficulties. You tell me um, what number and we start here. Me teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, Maho. The first, okay, the first one, uh, the teacher told us to finish page seven for homework. Thank you. Told, okay, just uh, for you to know, we have some options. You can say tell or told. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can say say or said. Tell present, told past. Say present, said past. Okay. Thank you, Maho. Who else? Redis, what about you or Miguel? Um, this or take your time, Miguel, Vicky, Maritza. Uh, number two. Cray. Okay, number say... two, Maritza. Craig say he didn't want to go to work. Thank you. But it is in the past. Said. Como tener said. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, Craig said that he didn't want to go to work. It's talking about the past. Thank you, Maritza. Very nice. Yeah. Who else? Number Can you tell me about her holiday? Okay, Brandon and Morelia, because Brandon started, okay. Uh, what did you say, Brandon, and then Morelia? Number three, Penny told me about her holiday. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, told me. Morelia, what about you? It was the mm -hmm. same, Morelia? Yes, but I can say the other one. Uh -huh. I think that Bill and Carrie told her. Mm -hmm. Directly told her. Bill and Carrie le dijeron a ella o le contaron okay. not to visit them. Mm -hmm. So Bill and Carrie, they don't accept visits. Thank you, Morelia. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, who else? What about Robert or yes, Rosanna? Yes. I remember your example with the Bastard Boy songs. For example, <laughs> number five, the bank. Tell me. Tell okay. Me okay. Okay. You can say in the past, but it's tell. Tell me or told me. Okay. So it's a present tells for the present about the bank told me. Yeah. Bastard Boy is a very famous song from my cousins. <laughs> It was a good example. Yeah, it, it because it's catchy. Set the care. Okay, thank you. Um, what about uh, I don't know Miguel, Vicky, Nancy? Six. Six. I said. Yeah. yeah. I said that I'd meet I him meet at two. In up two o'clock. Thank you. Said. Mm -hmm. I said. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. What about the others? Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Seven. Miguel. Seven. She she said that she liked Jerry a lot. Thank you. If you notice, when you have that, it is most of the time say or said, right? That is like a clue. Thank you. Eight, nine, and ten, I guess, Freddy's or Vicky or, I don't know, Roxana. Eat, teacher. Okay. Uh, Ernest, please go. Uh, 
Number eight, I think Tony was sick. So he tell to the class to go home early. Okay. Uh, could be in the past. Oh. Tony was sick. Mm -hmm. So he told oh. the class. Thank you. Okay. okay, nine and ten. We have 14 minutes and we say goodbye, my friends. Just this and one more activity and we say. Nine, maybe say, Grace say. And then Roxy. Okay, Grace said. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the, the, the other word, she missed the, the, other, the other sentence is in the past. Mm -hmm. Grace said that she missed the bus. Okay, thank you. Um, Roxana, do you have any idea about 10? Uh, I think he said they oh. said the roof that the door was already filled. So, was already filled, yes. <clears throat> That's another clue. Esa otra pista. When the other sentence, the coming sentence is in the past, it means that, yeah, the previous is also in the past. Thank you. So now we have like a clear idea how to use say and how to use tell, right? We're going to finish with one activity and it is this. Remember that we were talking about restaurants, right? The last classes, we were talking about restaurants and here we have a conversation. It is like this, Staff and Jamie. Uh, it is like they are calling and they are, they are working with a reservation. Look at this. Hello, Ginos. Ginos is the name of the restaurant. Hi. Can I book a table for tomorrow night, please? How many people is it for? Four. And what time would you like? About eight. Eight thirty, maybe. Let's see. We're pretty busy tomorrow. So I can do half past seven or nine. Oh, okay. Then half seven. Sorry. Half seven, please. What name is it? Jamie. J A M I E. Okay, so that's a table for four at half past seven tomorrow evening. Great, thanks. Bye, bye. If you notice, like in two minutes, you can have like a reservation for any restaurant. It is like this, right? So remember this part. Stuff is like trying to identify the the that name. J A and Jamie says M I E, like very sure. Okay, I need you to please um have a screenshot. Please, my friends, can you have a screenshot? And we're going to practice and then we say goodbye. Okay, my friends, see you. We practice a little bit and then we come back and we say goodbye.
Okay, let's listen to some of the teams that completed the conversation practice. Let's see. Can we have the participation of Freddy and Ernest? Okay. Uh, don't okay, I'm going to present uh, the, the conversation, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, yes, please. Okay, Ernest, you start, and we meet. Hello, Genos. Uh, hi, can, can I book a table for tomorrow night, please? How many people is it, it is for? Four. And what time would you like? About 8, 8.30, maybe. Let's see, uh, we're pretty busy tomorrow, so I can do half past seven or nine. Oh, okay. Then half seven, please. What name is it? Jane. J-A-M-E-A. -A. Okay, so that's a table for four at... Half past seven tomorrow evening. Great. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Perfect. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. So, lo que sería J A M I E. Okay, friends. M I E. M I E. M I E. Yes. One of the most difficult parts in the alphabet are the vowels. Las vocales okay. son las que son, com son okay. complejas. Thank you. Okay, we're going to finish with this, with the last participation. Me. Okay, Miguel. Miguel and... Okay. Um, okay. Please. Um, inicio yo. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, Genus. Hi. Can I book a table for tomorrow night, please? How many people is it for? 
four. And what time would you like? About eight, eight thirty maybe. Let's see. We're pretty busy tomorrow, so I can do half past seven or nine. Oh, okay. Then half seven, please. Uh, what name is it? James. J A. M I E. Okay, so that's a table for four at half past seven tomorrow evening. Great, thanks. Bye. Bye. Perfect. Thank you, my friends. Um, the last thing that I want to tell you, well, good pronunciation uh, to both teams, para ambos equipos. Eh, con lo último que me despido son con dos cosas. Primero, eh, quiero que me envíen el thumb up, pulgar arriba en el chat, así paso lista de esa manera, ¿verdad? Como ustedes ya conocen, ¿verdad? Thumb up. Y lo último es en el chat, en el chat, así como Brandon, porque si solo me lo ponen así, así en en Zoom me están diciendo, me están felicitando. Thank you. Necesito tenerlo aquí en el chat. Ok. Um, please uh, complete the platform. Uh, unit 2 and Milton. Please. Necesitamos estar hasta la unidad 2 y completado el midterm. Y debemos de comenzar casi la unit 3, que mañana la vamos a comenzar. Ok. Así que eh, necesito que avancen todo lo que pueden en la plataforma. Sé que algunos de ustedes este, ya avanzaron bastante, porque hay algunos que ya están casi por, por el examen final. Entonces, si ustedes, yo sé que hay temas que no hemos visto, pero recuerden que la plataforma es amigable en el sentido de que si ustedes se equivocan, pueden hacer la misma evaluación muchas veces hasta que suban de nota, ¿verdad? La nota mínima es de 8, 80%, ¿verdad? Sí, Miguel. Eh, me ha podido enviar este, lo que yo le comentaba la vez pasada de que no me deja enviar porque no me dice siguiente no funciona el icono de enviar. Vaya, hagamos una cosa. Que... Hagamos una cosa, Miguel. No me contestaron eh, de soporte, pero mañana voy a volver a escribirle. Si gustas, este, escríbeme mañana en la mañana. Hoy me, hablaron, y expliqué, hoy me hablaron por lo de ayer y les expliqué eso también. Les dije que en el, en el básico 6 me pasó lo mismo. Bien, bien extraño. ¿Y qué te dijeron? ¿Qué te comentaron? No, me dijeron que iban a estar este, pendientes con lo de la plataforma, pero de ahí para allá, pues sigo esperando. ¿no? A, mí, a mí me parece que es tu usuario. Hay algo allí. En la plataforma a veces pues, como que requiere mantenimiento y todo eso, ¿verdad? Pero déjame ver mañana eso, Miguel. Gracias por recordarme, porque sí, lo, 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 lo informé. Ya, ya con el porcentaje que yo veo que está ahí, creo que ya no hay problema ya, porque ya pasé el 90%. Entonces, sí, 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 vas bien. Lo que pasa es que yo sé que a ustedes les gusta estar súper bien, ¿verdad? Con sus notas, pero gracias, Miguel, por recordar. Termino diciendo eso, por favor. El trabajo de la plataforma es importante. Pueden estar acá y todo y aprender, pero si en las plataformas no tienen más del 80% en general, este, no van a probar este módulo y necesitan pasar a, al siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? Solo nos quedan ya pocas clases, así que ánimo. Nos vemos mañana y después, el fin de semana, descanso. Have a good night. Pasa feliz okay. noche. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. 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 See you. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, night. my friends. Have a good night. Bye bye. Teacher, yo tengo un problema. Es que a mí me salen están buenas las respuestas, pero siempre me las tiran mal. Mm, ok. ¿Cómo sabes que están buenas? Gramaticalmente están, están correctas. Sí, están correctas, ya las ya intenté de una de otra manera y siempre. Ok, uh, la plataforma a veces tiene este problema. Si quieres, me voy a quedar unos par de minutos contigo explicándote esto. Y ya sería como la sesión uno a uno contigo, ok. Um, a veces la plataforma te da problemas con cuando hay una oración y no le pones un punto al final. O cuando no pones una letra mayúscula al inicio, cuando no escribes la letra mayúscula al inicio, o cuando no pones una apóstrofe correcta. He notado que la plataforma tiene dificultades con las respuestas con, esas, con esos tres eh, tipos de variantes. No sé si en tu caso eh, te han salido mal. ¿Sabes qué? 
envíame mañana um, un screenshot, ¿verdad? Eh, de las respuestas que te salen malas y las vamos a revisar. ¿Ok, Raquel? Sí. Ya intenté como ponerle mayúscula con punto y siempre. Sí, siempre eh, me... Raquel, no sé, no sé qué tan ocupada has estado con tu trabajo y todo eso porque... Me parece que hace como tres clases o cuatro clases dediqué un momento para que me comentaran que les está dando problemas. Y hubieron varios que me dijeron, teacher, en eso. Entonces yo en ese momento les he dado las respuestas para ayudarles. Y yo creo que quizás como has estado inactiva, no te, no te fijaste. Entonces ahí era el momento para que me lo dijera porque yo te podía dar rápido las respuestas. Pero dame una captura mañana y dime en qué número de ejercicio vas ya sea una tarea o si es el midterm yo la reviso y vemos las respuestas y así para que puedas tener una nota mayor porque si son varias que te salen malas te va a afectar en tu nota y lo que queremos es que tenga una buena nota sí, ¿Okay? que ya me faltan pocas para, para terminar ya, ya. vas a avanzar, perfecto sí, avance bastante yes. entonces eh, trata de identificar cuál es eh, el número de tarea Tomar una captura, pero me, quiero que me indiques qué número de tarea es o si es el examen, qué parte es. Así, ah, yo verifico y te ayudo con eso, ¿ok? Porque a veces la plataforma tiene problemas. O sea, no son los estudiantes. A veces son los estudiantes que hay un puntito, la letra mayúscula, pero a veces es la plataforma que da problemas. Yo soy consciente de eso, ¿ok? Eh, voy a estar pendiente entonces de tu screenshot, de la, las, las respuestas que te salen malas y vemos mañana. ¿Te parece? Excelente, voy a estar pendiente. Pasa feliz noche entonces, Regal. Good night.